Yeah. No, yeah. no, nah, nah, we got to do a Brooklyn style. We hype, we laugh. Y'all ready for the Kings? Say hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this party started. Ladies and gentlemen, my first New York King coming to the stage. We call this brother our Latin assassin. You'll see why. Give it up for Mark Vieira. Brooklyn, New York, make some noise. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Cut that off, DJ. Feels good to be home in New York. It really does, man. Feels good. Love you guys. It does. It does, man. You got to do something special for a special city, right? So I love it. I always ask every time I get on stage, where are the beautiful ladies? That's my thing. Where are the beautiful ladies? All right. Some of y'all didn't clap. You all right? You okay? <laughs> what the? <laughs> A little low self-esteem section right here. <laughs> you got beautiful ladies? No. No. Okay. My stomach's not right. My stomach. Since yesterday, my stomach. It's been like, <laughs> it's been like that, my stomach. Women, <laughs> women are funny though, women. We love you ladies, we do, but women, women blame everything on this area, man. They, no matter what it is, they blame everything right here. Just, baby, you ready to go? I'm not gonna go, I'm not going. My, my stomach since yesterday. Oh. Go without me, go, go, okay. I'm so bloated. I feel like I know women, I do. I feel like I do, because I'm married a long time. Just made 23 years in January, 23. That's a long, you know, you don't gotta clap, you know. <laughs> you don't know what I'm going through in my house. Please, please don't clap for my shit. <laughs> my wife, true story, Puerto Rican from the South Bronx. This big, she about this big. I don't know how they fit all the devil in this shit here. This shit here? Scares me, man. This big, she scares me. And fellas, I don't want you to get this the wrong way. I don't mean when she go like that, I go, yeah, yeah. I don't mean scared like that. I mean in my soul. She, she, she scared me in my soul. Oh, if you were a woman a long time and you know that they could just say something to you, scare you. Fellas, you want to hear some scary shit here? Look here. Babe, come here. Let me ask you something. When you hear that, a fear. <laughs> Fellas, you ever hear that and start explaining some shit? You, the same, come here, let me ask you something. You'd be like, hold on. Let me tell you what happened first. Let me tell you. You don't gotta get crazy. I'm gonna tell you what happened. She's Some people don't know what I'm talking about. Some people don't know. I, if, you, if you haven't been in a long relationship, let me explain. This is what I've learned in 23 years. Women, when they ask you a question, that's because they already know the fucking answer. And they asking you for entertainment purposes only. They already, no, it's not funny. See, they laugh, ha ha, uh, uh, uh. it's not funny, that's not. And you know this, because every time you say something, they do this, oh my God. Oh, you think I'm stupid? You think I'm stupid though? <laughs> Fellas, you know you in trouble. When your woman talks to another woman that ain't even in the room. <laughs> oh, y'all, look, he think I'm stupid, though. He think I'm stupid. <laughs> Who are you talking to? There's nobody over there. <laughs> She's like the conjuring, man. She scared me, man, in here. <laughs> ask, she asked me a lot of questions, my wife. You would think, no, after 23 years, you think she'd be over that. Mm -mm. These women, I don't, we love ladies as beautiful, oh my God. I don't know what agency they work for. 
I don't know what agency my wife worked for, FBI, CIA. I just know I am her only case. She doing interviews and reports and shit. You know what got me tied up? Social media. I'm not a social media. I tell the truth. I'm not a social media dude. I'm on social media because I have to be. But I'm not a, so I'm from a different time. I'm a beeper dude. I, I, I came up in the time of beepers. It was a different lifestyle. When you had a beeper, come on, life was easy, man. Just, you had the beeper right here. That life right there. You tucked your shirt in so people could see your shit. <laughs> remember, when, remember when you tucked your shit, you was like, Mike, hey, Mike, you got my beeper number? You got it? All right, cool. I'm waiting for you to beat me later. All right. Beeper lifestyle was different. The beeper lifestyle was, you had to pay for the beeper in cash. At Magic Beat, remember you had to go with $12? Hold on, let me pay my beat. I'll be right out. Let me go ahead and put the little $12. <laughs> the little $12. Now, now you can't move without your cell phone. Can't move, can't go nowhere. And it's the, it's the, it's the gateway to trouble. Because now everybody got messing around. Facebook, Instagram. All these different social medias, right? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. And if you're married, let me tell you what I've learned. Women have their own rules to shit. Their own rules. You know, who, who you sending messages? Who's, you send a message? You notice that she sent me? Right? That's. Last week, I come home, my wife mad. I don't know why she mad. She said, babe, come here. Let me ask you something. Come here. You know this bitch <laughs> on Facebook? You know, no, no, because you real happy. It's her birthday. You real happy. It's this bitch's birthday. I'm like, what are you talking? What are you talking about? I said, Joanna's birthday. What is it? No, you sent this bitch two cakes? You sent this bitch two cakes and a balloon? I'm like, what? It's an emoji. It's on Facebook. What the? You sent it, oh, you real happy. <laughs> sent this bitch two cakes. So, what are you talking about? Instagram is another one. Instagram will get you. You, let me, listen. I take pictures because I love you guys. Mark, can I get a picture? Of course. I took a picture with a young lady uh, a couple weeks ago. Just a, a regular picture. Regular, like this here. Regular. She put, I, I love the show. You're my favorite comedian. I love you. Look at, <laughs> the more I read, the more I was like, oh God, I'm going to die for this one. I'm not going to make it after this one here. This. Maybe it was my fault because at the end of everything, I was just, I, I, Listen, I appreciate all of y'all. So I, all I wrote on the thing was, thank you for coming to the show. You look great. What? What? What is that? Look at the men. The men like this. Man, you a nice guy. Look at the women. Ah, oh, why, you, why you not dead, though? Why, why you still at this show? Why you didn't die already? You should have been dead. We should have went to the funeral. We should have planned it. Because what are you I, that was too much, you see? And I don't, I don't know, I just said I don't know the rules. I come home, my wife, come here, let me ask you something, come here, come here. You know this bitch? That she looks great, really? Now you're Tony the Tiger? The bitches look great, really? Oh, now you giving bitches cereal? That's what you do? You out here giving bitches cereal? I'm like, what? I don't even, I don't have cereal. I don't, he think I'm stupid giving bitches cereal. I'm not, who you talking to? Who else lives in my house? Twenty, 23 years. 
on 23 years. I've seen things in 23. Simple, just I've seen things. I'm just trying to tell you. I've seen in 23, I've seen things. <laughs> we not, I'm, I'm not, I'm, listen, I don't, there's some stuff I don't want to, I don't want to see. <laughs> see, that's why if you're dating, if anybody in here, if you're dating, God bless you. I love that. I envy that now that I'm married 23. Because when you date somebody, you go to pick them up, they already dress. You get to the house, you beat the horn, they come out, hi, hi, I'm so, so excited. I can't wait, I've been waiting. When you're married, you gotta, you gotta see the whole production. Right, you gotta, they walking around the house and half a titty out, babe! One eyelash in. The f who the fuck is this? Who the fuck? Yo. My wife came out the closet that she had one of them things, uh, uh, the, the suit that go under the clothes. What's this shit here? The, the spanks? The, the... Listen to me, man. Some shit. I'm trying. I don't want to see this shit here. You ever seen them in the spanks when the shit tight in the fucking... She little just <sighs> It's not natural. It's not natural. We the, the whole night we sitting there trying to have a good time. She like this. When you're dating, at the end of the night, you get to drop someone off. I haven't dropped someone off in 23 years. Drop someone off. Thank you. I had a great time. Wow. I had a really, I'm all right. Let's, let's talk tomorrow. You disappear. When you marry, brother, they follow you. All the way back to the house. And they, take, they get undressed in front of you, man. And, we got home, I didn't even know what was happening. She hit the eject button on the Spanx, man. That, sh <laughs> that sh shit blew open, man. It's everything came out at one time, man. That's not funny, man. <laughs> titties up, titties up here the whole night. <laughs> titties in like this. What are you doing? You think she can? We married 23 years. <laughs> She's standing there scratching shit. You know? Mark Vieira, the New York Kings. <laughs>